see we have some Vietnamese bread garlic right here. Um, you can buy it really easily from anywhere. So what you're going to do is take any digging tool. And you're going to want to just have like a nice bed of dirt like this. And then on my shovel I have some measurements so I can do it real easily. You're going to plant it two inches deep. So you just want to go two inches down with it, make a little hole like that. Then you take one of your garlics that are already peeled like this, and you always want to put the pointy side towards the top. So I'm just going to put it down in there. And then you're just going to cover it up with some dirt and pat it down a little. All right, so then you want to plant your garlic about 12 inches apart. So I have, the highest I have is six inches on here. So I'm gonna go one, and then right here, and then I'm gonna go two, right there. So this is where I wanna plant my next garlic seed. So then you're gonna go down the two inches, you're gonna make a little hole. You're gonna take your garlic, Vietnamese red garlic, and then you always want your pointy side towards the top, because that's the part that's going to grow up. So you're going to plant it down in there, put the dirt back on top of it, pat it down, and then do the next one. And you can always just estimate how far it is once you get the common sense of how far away 12 inches is. You'll be able to do it pretty easily. So, as I was talking to you about um, making the garlic warm, we're going to get started. So, you can use hay or straw to keep your plants warm, but if you don't want to buy any hay or straw, just take some weeds from your mountain garden, rip them up from the ground. It doesn't matter how well you rip them up. Winter peas! Just so... Just so long as you get enough of them. And you want them to be thick in certain places. So just take a handful and grab them. And you have to make sure you get enough, but also make sure not to get too much. If you get too much, you can use them on a different bed where they need them. Um, there's some winter peas around here, so you just want to like take it and spread it out, fluff it, don't make it too thick, but you also want to make sure it's thick enough, so you're going to get all your weeds, and then once you have your weeds, it doesn't really matter how many you have, just so long as you have enough to cover your whole bed. It doesn't have to be super thick. Um, looks like I'm running out of weeds here. So, if you think of this one is too thick, we're just gonna borrow some from here. Whoa! Make sure to keep enough on here though, so that these ones don't go cold. And another reason you wanna put the weeds on here is so that It'll keep the moisture in the garlic and you won't have to water them as often as you need to water other plants because they'll have the moisture that's down in the earth and that's coming in from the weeds. The weed moisture will soak through to the garlic. And so make sure you still have enough for this bed and then and just covering up your bed, and that's how you keep your garlic warm and keep it moist for the winter. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all. So, I'm going to show you how to make a homemade marker. Um, you just need a stick about nearly to your elbow, a little bit less than that, somewhere around that. Doesn't matter what length it is, just so long as it's a bit so long. And then you're gonna use the bags where you got the garlic from. So, um, 
Here's your bed, your bag that you got your garlic in. You're gonna rip the label off and then you're gonna turn it upside down on the other side of it. I'm just gonna stick it on there again. Make sure it's sticked on there pretty good. It doesn't matter if the garlic things come out. And then make sure it's stuck on there pretty tight so it doesn't blow off. Then you're gonna plant your stick in the ground right here where you can see it. And then you just push the top of the bag through that so it doesn't blow away. And you have your little marker. So that's how to make your own homemade marker without buying anything except for the garlic. Bye y'all. Giving the dog train. Chickweed. Especially nice and moist after the rain. He really likes it because when he's hot, it cools him off because there's water inside the leaves. And this chickweed was especially good because there was water outside the leaves too. So he gets the inside water and the outside water to cool him off. It's also very nutritious for him. It's very leafy and vegetable-y, and he loves vegetables.